Hello you lovely lovely people This is Hardcore Blender and I am Michael Boardman Yeah, story time If you noticed, I'm wearing a New York Giants jersey Yes, they are an American football team And if you have a good idea of where American football teams play Then you might guess that I am I am American Well, half American was born in America so, I thought I'd tell a story about when I lived there and a couple of other bits and bobs and stuff. I'm not remembering them in order. Well, when I was, I don't know. The only stories that I really remember from the States are from when we lived in New Jersey. New Jersey is kind of like the Scunthorpe of America. I'm not saying Scunthorpe is a terrible place, I'm just making an analogy. So, maybe when I was about five, we had this like little play pool, pa little paddling pool out back, and of course, we were talking in the neighbourhood because we had a little paddling pool, so of course we had neighbours over to play in it, and all that good stuff that happens with a paddling pool out back, and especially with like, just nothing out back. Like our house was, our house was there, and you could like go for like a good quarter mile out back before you reached another house. Pretty cool, really. So yeah, all the near houses could see that we had a paddle and pull, and they would just come over and like come and play with your paddle and pull. Because we're not. We're not evil buggers, so yes, we said. Anyways, I was a fan of the Power Rangers, and so were the neighbour kids and stuff like that. So, we had some folding, not folding chairs, but just stackable chairs, plastic chairs, stood around the paddling pool and we're using them to jump off and land in the pool of course it's only a paddling pool it's like maybe a foot deep why did I have that pinky up like that I don't know it was about a foot deep and that was all the water that was in it and we are just leaping off spinning around and landing upright in it anyways because I was a fan of Power Rangers, I tried doing a spinning kick move. I succeeded, like, I managed to do like a 270 once spinning kick thing, and then land it, and it came out perfectly. But I was really annoyed because I could only do the 270 degree spin. That was a bit annoying. So. I tried a couple of times again and I didn't get near the 270s and then I got a bit frustrated and went, yes I can do it. And I stood on the chair, jumped and span really fast and I jumped like kind of fast, span really fast, stuck my leg out, stuck my leg out, span around, landed and I went down. My legs absorbed the landing but my chin was still travelling and travelling and travelling until it knee myself in my own chin and shattered a couple of teeth. Yeah, I did that. It was kind of painful. Of course I cried because I was like five years old. Well, around our dining table in the States, we had just odd chairs what we could just nab sort of thing. Nothing too fancy, but yeah, two of them were just little stools for me and my sister to sit on and we would sit there quite comfortably and there's uh, one night Dad, Dad was trying to have games and funs and all that sort of stuff with us and he kept on sneaking up behind me and my sister and pulling our shoulders while we stood on the stool and would just pull us backwards. Of course, he'd catch us and set us upright. Of course, every single time we'd have mini heart attacks. 
we didn't die. If you hadn't noticed, I'm still here. Anyways, yeah, we used to have our mini heart attacks for nearly falling over or whatever, but he'd catch us nevertheless. And then I kind of got frustrated and annoyed by it because I just did. It was a bit annoying and I kept on having a heart attack and it was scary. And so I thought to retaliate. <laughs> so I went, whilst well, Dad was crouching, about to pull the shoulders of my sister's sister back and catch her and do it to her. I snuck around behind him and I grabbed his shoulders and I pulled him back. He's bigger than me. So I didn't catch him. And of course, he just clattered into me. I kind of went sprawling back, conked my head on the cooker, and he landed his whole weight on my teeny weeny seven year old foot. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of painful. I have no idea how he didn't manage to break my foot. He sprained it, sprained my ankle, but he didn't break nothing. I've never ever broken a bone in my body except for my nose if you count that, but thanks for watching and hopefully I've enticed you to like and subscribe. I'm having more drugs. I don't think you can. <coughs> I'm pretty sure there's a thing somewhere that says noses don't actually break because there's look like there's not a bone in there is there so it can't exactly break it's just the cartilage can a bit fucked up <laughs>